let us now see the program for converting binary number into decimal number if i give a binary number as 0 1 0 0 the equivalent number that is the equivalent decimal number for a given binary number is 4 now let us check how we are going to get this value 4 so from right to left from right to left so we need to process this 0 into 2 to the power of power I am giving with a caret sign 2 to the power of 0 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 3 I hope you are understanding so once again I will repeat 0 into 2 to the power of 0 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 3 now if you calculate this what is 0 into 2 to the power of 0 the value is 0 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 1 the value is 0 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 2 2 to the power of 2 is 4 1 into 4 is 4 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 3 0 into something is 0 now if you see the result 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 0 the result is 4 so this is how we got the decimal equivalent value as 4 now for this particular program we need to write a logic for any given binary number you should get the exact decimal number now let us write the code for it hash include stdio.h next int main so here i need to read a decimal number then i need to evaluate the given result for which i need to do some iterative process and the different identifiers i am going to use as part of this code is int i am reading this number number here is in the form of a binary number so this is a binary number that will be in the form of ones and zeros and i'll take the decimal number which should be my output i'll first initialize with zero because it should not take any other garbage value and i'll initialize some more variables like binary binary value and the another variable as base here i'll take base value as one and some reminder so these are the different identifiers which i require as part of my code which i am initializing in my initialization section now we need to give a message to the user enter the binary number enter the binary number now in order to read the input we need to use scanf so i am reading this binary number in the form of ones and zeros so percentile d address of i am reading it in binary num so if you want to specify a message to the user enter the binary number only in ones ones and zeros ones and zeros give any binary number only in the form of ones and zeros now whatever the value whichever I have given for a binary number that i am storing it in binary value i'll tell you why am i using this this is like a temporary variable where i am storing the actual binary value because at certain point of time i am making this binary value binary number as zero that is the reason i am storing it in a temporary variable name called binary underscore val now here as we need to do this process iteratively for each and every digit starting from units units place for which i'm going to use a while loop while the given binary number while the given binary number is greater than zero only then i need to enter into this while loop now you also follow the indentation while you are writing the code so you can see clearly here 
open and closed parent curly braces after the while as soon as i have closed it is been given again with the tap space this is what we need to give it as part of our every code because it creates much more readability on the code whoever sees the code they can easily trace according to the indentation now first i need to get a units place how i can get a units place i am just storing this units place value in reminder that is we we have clearly seen as part of operators division gives coefficient modulo division gives the reminder now i am storing the reminder over here reminder of the given binary number so in order to get the reminder mod 10 this is how we are getting the units position that is you read a value 0100 now if you take mod of it then you will be getting the reminder that is the units place now binary number or whatever the uh, temporary variable which i am considering the binary underscore value equal to the binary underscore value plus what is the reminder i am multiplying this reminder with base initially base value is i am taking the base value as 1 and i'll tell you why did i write this reminder into base and also binary underscore value i am adding it because we are performing the addition for every individual digit present in the binary number after taking the power of it that is 0 into 2 to the power of 0 plus that is the reason the older result also i am trying to put it in the binary value that is why i have written this put a semicolon for this next we need to reduce the number first time there are four digits next time it should become three digits next time two digits next time one digit so on until the condition is true this loop should execute now here i need to take the given binary number the given binary number equal to binary number divided by 10 so we all know that modulus gives the reminder division gives the coefficient now we are going to get the coefficient as 0 1 0 this zero is completed as part of the reminder now what is the base value for which we need to take we have given the base value initially as 1 now we need to consider the base as 2 right base equal to base into 2 so this is how we are going to get the 2 2 to the base 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 2 this base value we are going to get it when we are multiplying with 2 now as soon as this while loop is done now we need to display to the end user what is the binary number the binary number is so whatever the binary number which we have given at run time that we are showing to the end user the binary number so what is the variable name binary underscore num next what is the equivalent decimal number the decimal number is now what is the decimal number we got it after complete evaluation of this while loop now where this result is stored is in this binary value in this binary value we we got this binary value sorry a small mistake here we need to consider decimal underscore number this is the decimal number now the result we are going to store it is in decimal number so in decimal number your actual decimal number is getting generated once this decimal number is printed the last one is written zero now let us execute this code just a small change here decimal number please try to make a change now whenever we execute this code we are going to get the input which is requested enter the binary number only in ones and zeros now i am entering the binary number as 0 One double zero. Now I am hitting enter. So the binary number, whatever we have inputted, that binary number should be displayed. So that binary number 
actually it is there binary number has become zero that's what i have said right whenever it is becoming zero i need to change this to a temporary variable whatever i've used binary val in binary val i have already stored my binary number that is the reason i am writing here a temporary variable in which i am storing the original value now if i change binary underscore val you will be seeing here what is the original number i have entered in the earlier case now i got zero the reason is here at certain point of time whenever we are dividing the number it will become zero when the logic is failed only then it is coming out of the printf statement now let us run once again let us give the input value once again as soon as we give the input 0 1 double 0 and enter now you can get the original value as well as the decimal number so this is how you can execute the binary to decimal number thank you